distance from others is flowing unchained. Slowly through the silent sky, moving inward with happiness into our receptive minds. It doesn't matter who you are or your culture. We're all connected as one. Love. Give it a new start. It has no mistakes, no wrong questions or answers. Poetry is not my strongest subject, but the people who were shy, I think they were the best ones who could write the poetry best. We all came together, we wrote our poetry together, we mixed in our ideas, and we got through it together. That's all that counts. Well, stuff that we took there was actually like becoming a team as well. Practicing and learning actually how to like work together and how to use our voice in order to show the people that our community is something that we should care about. The play was about um, the untold version of the wolf side of the story in Little Red Riding Hood. My favorite part of the play is when one of my fellow classmates named Diane was playing uh -huh. the part of the grandmother. Oh, okay. And she fell, she acted like she fell. <laughs> I was happy that I was doing the play because it's an activity that not only one person can participate in, but all your classmates. And then you just really get to know your classmates and how they participate with other people. The plays that we're writing help us realize the type of stuff people go through on a daily basis. That we think that we have bad off of little things that that's not really a big deal. It's all about putting yourself in that character and trying to become one with them and to, to put yourself in that mindset. More people are getting into the dance steps, like they're putting more they rhythm into it, they're getting better at it. That really surprised me, especially from the people who said they couldn't do it at the beginning. People who seemed shy in the beginning, now they're like, they're hype, they want to get more into the dance, they want to learn more. Change me in some kind of way because it just makes me see the um, like lighter sides of things or the different sort of aspects of life. Like if I look at a tree, I can just see the art in it and how like very real it is. And how if an artist were to just draw the same tree, it looks just as real because they can do it and it's mm -hmm. what they like. And I just want art to make me somebody who can just really see the light of things and see the other sides of things other than. Like me just saying, oh, that's just a window, but it's just seeing how it's designed and proportioned. Well, one goal that I have for the future is to change something that's not, that I think that is not so great in our community, such as littering or loitering. One goal that I have for the future is to be the person that I've always wanted to be. I want to actually show the world who I am and not the shy person that everybody thinks I am. And how can what we've learned, what you've learned at Dream Yard help you in other areas of your life? So thinking about like with your family, with your friends, or being in school? Well, it can help me a lot because, well, I can tell my sister about it, I can tell my parents about it, and maybe I'll have an influence on them as well as Dream Yard has on me. So that'll help me because then I'll know that I actually do have a voice and it will help out a lot. People might think that one voice by itself will be weak, but I, but I doubt that. Because if I really believe in what I'm saying, then it'll work out. Nobody can put me down in what I believe.